everybody as you can see there's a lot of bare limbs we had about uh, 35 40 mile an hour winds the other day in a storm and a lot of the foliage is gone but yeah there's still some pretty big pretty nice color um, we're on a road right now it's called the Kankamagus Highway and it's actually Route 112 over in New Hampshire and it goes up through a notch up here which we'll show you in a little bit but uh, yeah me and my wife are headed up to uh, Irisburg Vermont just on a nice ride the uh, sand for the greenhouse weren't going to come today so we figured we'd bring the camera along see if there was any good foliage we're headed north the further we go so probably it won't be too beautiful but uh, anyway it's um, it's raining as you can see it's gonna rain I guess all day and uh, you know we're just ramming around something to do but this is a real pretty area right here what a nice nice color come up behind a slow camper here which is not bad it makes a GoPro pick up the leaves a little better the slower you go so that's not a bad thing but anyway um, yeah this road comes out I believe over in Woodstock New Hampshire I think that's the name of the town it's either Lincoln or Woodstock they, they border each other so anyway I'll uh, bring you back here when we get to a good view now we've only gone another mile or two and as you can see the trees are getting short it's not because they've been logged it's just because harsh climate we're getting up pretty good elevation in this area um, so anyway we're uh, almost to the pass here about a mile away there's a lookout here we'll uh, pull into it and see what we can see Even though the foliage is almost gone by, it's real pretty. We're planning on going close to 400 miles today. That's why we didn't bring the Jeep. Pull in here. So this is one of the lookouts that they've got. Kind of caught Carol off guard. Good, and we'll get under the gazebo there where we can stand and not get everything all wet. Well, this is one of the lookout posts they have. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty nice area. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Valley's got some low fog in it. So anyway, this I guess we can't really read today. The raindrops journey. So anyway, we're up here at 2,855 feet above sea level. And when it goes the way we're headed, it goes to the Pemba Jawasset. And the way we just came from, it's a swift river. So anyway. Either way, it goes to the, uh, yeah, this is Kankamagus. That's how you spell it. And uh, 2,855 feet above sea level. So anyway, yeah, we'll continue our journey. So anyway, <laughs> we're only about 100 yards beyond that little pullout, and this is the actual highest point. as we could read that but anyway we go over the other side and this river here I don't know the name of it but it goes down into the Pema Jawasset at the Pema Jawasset Overlook so 
so anyway the foliage isn't quite as good over here the roads rough on the car but anyway we'll uh, bring you back here we get a little better this side here runs about a nine percent grade and uh, she's got the car geared down you can hear the motor noise a little bit but the uh, this side here has got a lot more switchbacks in it and sharp corners. A little steeper terrain. A lot of granite work up there on the hill. Actually kind of pretty on this side. I didn't know if we'd have much foliage over here, but don't know, but it's better on this side than it was on the other side. visibility as far as watching the colors and stuff but we're going to go down into this valley here and it's going to get cloudier and cloudier a lot of ground fog this right here is the steepest turn on the road or sharpest turn I should say If you looked on the map, probably is a 180 degree turn. But I'm going to shut you off because not much you can see, as you can tell, we we're in the some inclement weather. So bring you back in a while. Anyway, we're getting down into the town here. I believe this is the town of Lincoln. See, this is pretty nice stuff. Not too bad looking. But anyway, we'll be down in the village in a minute. There's a big ski area down here. I forget the name of the ski area. Ain't that awful? Do you remember the name of it? Cannon Mountain? I don't know. It could be. I don't know, we'll have to look. We get here, but there's some beautiful color. I don't know how good the camera's picking it up, but there is some real pretty down through here. Actually prettier on this side than it was on the other side. But this probably was sheltered from the wind down in this valley, or at least on the path that we're in. Lodge of the ski area. The gondolas are running. I'm 
sure they're running for the foliage. Yeah. So anyway, we'll have to see here what the name of this place is. Me and Carol, I used to ski when I was young, but neither one of us are skiers, so we don't pay much attention to ski areas. It's not long, is it? What the hell is the name of this mountain? Huh. There's a sign right down here to tell us. Yeah, it's Loon. Yeah, I did think of it, but I just wasn't sure. This whole bridge right here, back about seven or eight years ago, washed out in a flood in the spring. And there was a lot of people lived on the other side. Kind of interesting. Woke up, couldn't leave home. But that, that was one of the remnants of a hurricane, wasn't it? That went up through New Hampshire here in Vermont. But yeah, it's a beautiful town. It gets fairly populated down here in another half a mile. go about to the right here about uh, a mile you go to Clark's Trading Post they have trained bears and a lot of nice nice antiques and stuff they got some beautiful museums there um, nice place we're out of the foliage I'd say yeah so anyway um, if we go straight, which we're going to, we're going to go by Lost River. That's some kind of neat tourist stuff. But the other way is, uh, I think it's Whale Tails Water Park and Fox Trading Post. And that guy is blowing out the, uh, I didn't show it to you. I should have looked like there was fog coming out of the ground. He's blowing out all the sprinklers for the wintertime. But, uh, yeah, so we're, uh, down here in the slow speed, down in the village. Uh, you know, there's McDonald's and all the finer things in life down here. Carol wouldn't think so, but <laughs> she don't like McDonald's, but I do. But anyway, so I'm gonna let you go. Um, as you can see, we're right in the middle of the village here. Um, and it gets busier and busier the further down we go. So I'll bring you back when we get some neat stuff. Although there is some nice color here in the village, ain't there? Look at that set of trees there. Beautiful. Well, anyway. Well, we're over here on 112 still, but we were just going along and happened to see a nice covered bridge. So we thought we would uh, do a turn around here and go across the covered bridge. There's uh, quite a few of them in New Hampshire and Maine. But I know some parts of the country don't have them. This is the Swift Water Bridge made in 1849. And Carol's going to drive her claw across, nice and slow. It's all wood floor. Rugged. Yeah. It's a cross brace truss. Doesn't jiggle. So anyway. Yeah, we'll turn around and go back across it. Yeah, so this is the other approach. Weight limit three tons, passenger cars only. So, yeah, it's got some beautiful, yeah, runaway bar. Got some beautiful ties, steel bars. They've kept it very well. I would say it's probably all original. You know, probably the outside sheathing's been replaced at some point. But yeah. Anyway, something fun. We just made it to Re Wells River, Vermont. We just crossed the river. Real neat bridge. I was gonna take a picture of it, and the damn GoPro took so long to fire up that I didn't get it. But anyway, that's all right. We're gonna head. Uh, Along on Route 5 North, take us parallel to Route 91, the interstate, and that way we can stay off the interstate and 
just meander out through the country of Vermont. It's pretty country up through here. I don't see a lot of pretty foliage. It's kind of brown. You can see that further hill. But uh, anyway, we're going to go straight right here instead of going 302. And uh, yeah, it's kind of blah around here. So if it gets something a little better, we'll uh, turn the camera back on. Hey everybody, we just stopped and ate lunch and we've ate here probably eight or ten times over the years and we've never had a bad meal and that's hoagies, pasta and pizza, pizza and pasta and uh, they're right here on Route 5 in Lindenville and uh, good food, you know, it's a small place right now with the COVID stuff and yeah, I do have my mask with me. Um, you know, you have to wear it till you get set down. And they've got the seating kind of limited. But uh, real good food. So if you're ever up this way, don't hesitate to stop in, you know. Well, we just stopped for a second here. And this tree is close to four feet across the butt. Just a monstrous tree. And there's another one right up there. Another one right down there. And look at where all the color is. <laughs> It's all over the ground, but it's beautiful here. We're uh, just stopped on the side of the road and it is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful day to be out here, even though it's a little drizzly. But uh, yeah, the ground is as pretty as the, you know, leaves and the trees. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, we don't have the Jeep. Just got the Subaru, but uh, great car other than the brakes. But if they ever figure out how to keep the brakes going, about uh, 30,000 miles is about all the brakes are good for. And then you have to throw them away. But anyway, we'll bring you back. We see something else interesting. Now we just left that tree and went a little further and we're coming down into a lake. I don't know what lake it is, but there's a lake right there in front of us. Nice old farm here. Kind of got a, a lot of hackmatacks there, just starting to lose the needles. Or turn, well, they don't lose them now, they just turn brown. See the swamp. Yeah, kind of a different little spot. There's some beautiful color along this lake. Not that much down here on the road. It's mostly pines down here. We've come down, we went through Craftsbury and now we're back down on Route 14 South and we're uh, starting to pick our way home. Well, it's almost dark. We're going by the Glen House, which is a big motel at the bottom of Mount Washington. Mount Washington, as you can see, is in the clouds. And, uh, but the foliage, if the sun was shining, would be absolutely beautiful. Now that's the auto road that goes up to the top of Mount Washington. And it's really nice out today, but not enough sun to make good film. And unfortunately, it's probably our last foliage ride of the year. We, uh, we lost a lot of stuff on that wind about three or four days ago. And we got to build a greenhouse. So we just goofed off today because it was raining. Anyway, this is going to be all of a video shot today, I guess, and uh, hope you folks enjoyed, and don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.